do you want to jump off together? Are you kidding? Would you ever? Yeah, with you. Courtney, I would never from here. We could go down Why? one more. Why? He did it. Brody really just set the YOLO bar pretty high. Gotta have a talk about this. Why did I even mention this? <laughs> this was your idea. I am sweating my balls off. How cold is it? It's not oh, cold at all. You only live once. Come on, Chloe, that is your motto. YOLO! <laughs> Why is it so late? It's so fun. Just do it. Let's do it. No, Courtney, Courtney. What? Oh, my God. Ah! Hold hands. Courtney and I, we made this YOLO pack. I don't know why I did anymore because this is so scary. <laughs> Let's go! that we stuck to our YOLO pact because it's so fun to do stuff that we wouldn't do every day. That's why we're here on vacation. That's what it's all about. I've never seen Bruce let mom drive. Yeah. Do you see it? Oh, oh my God. God. Honestly, God works in mysterious ways because that wig did not do her any justice. This is a sign. A sign from above. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Lamar is so bummed he can't be here. I am. He's bummed, but... No problem. He's so annoying, he just canceled last minute. It's a bummer that Rob didn't show up. Rob was my wingman, okay? He's supposed to be here. He invited me on the trip. He just said, I don't want to be around everyone with, like, good bodies and feel oh, bad. Oh, God! I feel bad that he feels that uncomfortable going on a vacation with his family. I don't know what person on this earth would not want to be in a beautiful place like this. I just said, you better be working out and eating right then. So that's really that's what his... it's all about. I totally get, like, having, like, your weight issues. Like, I've had them, or but it happens. But you still have to go on with life. And so you're missing out on a family trip, something that's like, this is... Are you supposed to be my partner? When did you guys get here? I got here yesterday morning, early. I got here this morning. We got here this morning. It is so pretty here. Yeah, it is beautiful. I'm looking forward to a full day. Yeah, you know, it's all right. <laughs> I was, I was uh, glad I got the invite, so, no. <laughs> the issue with Chris and I is that there was no real line of communication. I mean, honestly, I don't even remember the last family vacation that we went on with all of us like this. Oh, wow, that, that's exactly, you read my mind. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. You have cheers. to look me in the eye. Oh, we don't want you to have seven years of bad sex, right? <laughs> it's already been more than Ew, that. Mom. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, things have gotten off to a very awkward start with Brody. I want Bruce to explain to Brody that I didn't leave him out of the family vacation to Greece. You know, instead of owning up to what is going on in his life with Brody, he somehow shifts all of this blame on me. So ultimately, I get painted out to be the bad guy. Chloe and I have decided we should do something wild and weird with you. Like what? I don't know. Will you jump Braxton. in a pool with your clothes on? Oh, I already got champagne all over me. <laughs> okay, she's in. Courtney, you do it, I'll do it. That would be so fun. We're going to do it together. One, <laughs> two. You now I left you. Three. Come on, everybody, into my room. Many, many years ago, when we started going to Mexico, we started this silly tradition. We would jump in the pool with all of our clothes on. Party time! Woo! 
So what better way to show the Jenners how the Kardashians do a family vacay? Yeah! Bruce, 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 Bruce,
Like, if they're doing the Chanel fashion show and everything there, like, it's got to be safe. Kendall's supposed to walk in Chanel. I know. But I will tell you guys that there's no internet. It's if we're with our whole family. Who needs to call anyone? Uh, me. Why wouldn't you come? I'm not going to Cuba. I, I, I can't. If there's no communication, I have work to do. The girls wanting to go to Cuba is a little stressful for me. I feel very anxious about not being able to communicate with them while they're gone. You don't communicate either way. Can't reach you. <laughs> you guys can go down to Cuba, have fun. It's like gonna be legendary. It's gonna be so much fun. And I heard the sangria is to die for. I think the only thing I'm gonna really enjoy about you guys being in Cuba, I can have some peace and quiet. All right, guys, well, I'll enjoy my time. And you guys let me know when you get back because you certainly can't send me an email when you land. Hasta luego. <laughs> I love this car. 1957 Chevy. For size you really? Sure. Yes. That is beautiful. Uh, I'm so excited. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness. So the goats are like people's dogs almost. Yeah, they're one with nature. All the colors are so pretty on all the buildings. I love it. Hola. The people are so nice. I love you it. You wave at people in the United States and they look at you like life. you're crazy. Yes, that's what I like is real life. I love so many things about Cuba. I love that there's history and culture. People are outside and they're walking the streets and everyone is like enjoying other people. Hello! Friends with everyone. Just seeing the pride on everyone's faces. It's refreshing to see that. We should set a goal to walk away from this trip saying it's one of the most amazing trips we've ever had. Down, so far. So good, we're so far, in so Cuba. Far. What's this over here? Snow Really? Mangos, banana, aguacero. Yum. All the things we like. We're such tourists. <laughs> That's so cute. I wonder if there's like a test we can get for Zika, like when we get back home, just to like clear everyone's head. Have you been bit? Red old man in the sea in high school. Thank you. Kim and I are going to see Ernest Hemingway's house. We're excited just because we studied and read Ernest Hemingway, and it's cool to see how people live. Welcome to our museum. My name is Isabel. I'm going to be your guy. And that's the house of Hemingway. In 1928 was the first time Hemingway visited Cuba. Only 48 hours, but was enough. He was in love. When Hemingway receives a special guest, he used to ring the bell to say welcome. Today for you. Are those his magazines and books? Yes. Everything is authentic. Furniture, paintings, animals on the wall. He was a hunter. As you can notice, there's no luxury in the house. Everything is simple, but nice and practical. That was Hemingway's style. You want to walk around and see the rest of the rooms? Sure. His private bathroom, only for Hemingway. One of the most interesting things here is on the wall. That's Hemingway's handwriting. You see the scale there? Yeah. He shed his way almost every day and take knocks on the wall. It's like me. You did the same? Yeah, I do. That's cool. 
This house is so cool. It's such a part of Cuban history that I wish Chloe could see this. I just want her to like live life and enjoy herself and not worry about it all, which just breaks my heart because it's like the same cycle all over again. It just really sucks. First time in Cuba? Mm-hmm. Not the last, I hope. No, we love it. It's so beautiful. We're here at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> this Rock is it, girls. You've never been here? Mm -mm. You guys, get ready to rumble. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm Chloe. Nice to meet you, Chloe. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. Here. Yeah. Stephanie. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Thanks for having you. us. Rock and roll, baby. OK, I guess just follow me this way. One thing that we have all of our rock stars do is sign our wall of fame. This wall right here, we just started having people sign. Oh, cool. OK, what should we write? What do you want to write? Pablo's Angels. <laughs> Cute. Cute. This is our collection storage vault. Ooh. Look at this dress. We have over 30,000 artifacts Beyonce. in our collection. Yes. Sesame's when did she child. wear that? So this is from the um, Independent Women video. Wow. Um, um, this right here, this is Rihanna from the Rude Boy video. Oh. And then this right here, that has to be from like Snoop Dogg or Nate Dogg or something. This is Snoop Dogg. Yeah. yeah. Snoop Dogg. Uncle Snoop. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, does anyone have 85 cents? I do. <gasps> you know what? Can I get some Skittles? Number 57. Ooh, sh should I get tropical? Oh, I'm getting tropical. Can't pass up a vending machine. For show. This is like classic. Over here, this is uh, James Brown. That's cool. Talk for a sec. Hello. Hey. Who is it? Can you hear me? Yeah, no, I can barely hear you. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. How are you, sweetie? I'm good. How I just I just have anxiety. Are you sure it's safe here? Yeah, yeah. It's safe there. I promise you. Look, I went through the same thing. I promise you, it's safe. Do you it's safe. I have my kids there. It's safe. Ever since Paris, I've just like go through this like worst case scenario mode in my head. I was so excited to come on this trip and I had no idea that I was gonna end up feeling this way, but it hit me right as we were getting off the plane that all of these people at the airport are gonna see, you know, 17 or 18 girls with all of our Chanel bags and, you know, Louis Vuitton this, and it just like hit me. Like we're the biggest target ever. I'm just like, why did I come, you know? No. <laughs> Yeah, I'm serious. I went through it. Hey, I understand exactly how you feel right now. Are we there yet? Yeah. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> I love you so, so much. You want to hold my hand? Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, guys. Good, how are you? How are you today? Good. Good. Perfect. Ready to jet ski. You guys ready to have some fun? Yes. Uh, you gonna have us sign our life away? Um, I don't I don't think I'm gonna do it. You're not going? Johnny's scared. There's sharks in the ocean. There's sharks in the ocean. Do you have your period? You don't wanna go? Okay, well if you're not gonna go, I'm not gonna come either. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't feel like getting my makeup ruined anyway. Is it okay if I go? Do you mind? No. Just make sure you guys meet us back there ASAP because you'll have to get ready. Yeah. And then we're gonna go straight from dinner out. So I would say like an hour and a half or two. We can do that. We'll okay. miss you dolls. I know. Yeah. I'm miss you too. Next time. Yeah, Don't next do time. Stupid. Yeah, we'll do it. Three pieces. Oh my God. <laughs>
You look so cute. Huh? <laughs> and why everyone's dressed like it's like we're going like into the wild. I look at all the other dolls and they're all super overdressed for camping. They all have camo gear on. It's, it's not like we're going into the real wilderness. We're going into a campsite in Malibu. You don't have to like be prepared for the worst conditions. Like we're just gonna have fun. Okay. Oh wow. Wait, wait, I got extra stuff. Arvin's gonna be the cutest. And we're going camping, what is this? Do you wanna be comfortable or not? You really wanna like all these things? Seriously? This is cool. Yeah, it's a... But I don't know if we're... Glamping. Yeah, we are glamping. This, it looks cool in your bathroom, maybe. I'm trying to make the best out of this camping trip. I could think of so many other places to go, but part of a relationship is compromised. And I mean, if this makes Shulam happy, then I'll go. Come on. Can we go now? Are we there yet? 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 Hi guys. Hi. Hey girl. Uh, oh my god, you're you coming? Here? I'm coming camping with you guys. We like, have no room for you. We already replaced you with somebody else. We already replaced you with somebody else. Who invited you? You can ride with me, child. <laughs> After talking to my therapist, I realized I'm not just gonna sit at home waiting for Colin to call me. So I'm gonna go hang out with my friends, even if that means that I have to go camping. Bye, we're going on a safari. Even the grocery carts in Minnesota are weird. Ooh, should I get Minnesota Bride? 50 sex moves? I've only seen about three. It's false advertising. Oh my god, look. This is Kim and Chloe. It's war. Way to go. Chloe believes Kim is determined to outdo her and Lamar's wedding. So you think that's true? Kim put her fiance under pressure to up the ante. Chris had a hard time coming up with $2 million for Kim's 20 and a half carat ring. I'm hoping Chloe just mans up and apologizes. I don't think she has a right to really judge everyone that comes in and out and kind of put her stamp of approval. I think it all honestly started when she said, is this for real with the ring? And I was like, no, it's a joke. Kim is engaged! Kim is engaged! Is this real or a right joke? Now. It's a joke. I was joking. You're joking about what? Yeah, like, why wouldn't it be real? Are you the only one that can get married? It's just almost like, oh, you're going to take the shine away from me and my, like, basketball player husband. It would be really sad if Chloe and I didn't work it out before the wedding. I just hope that it doesn't get to that point where we don't get that opportunity. I just feel bad. I want us all to be able to like just hang yeah. out. I said, oh, why don't you guys come to Minnesota? She's like, I will never come to Minnesota. She said that? Yeah. And it's just like, it's unbelievable. In New Orleans, I went to Cafe Du Monde and got beignets three times. Do you remember what happened the last time you got all stressed out and you were eating sugary stuff? I'm way skinnier than last time. I'm way healthier than last time. You're eating beignets. That's three times you know, a day. No, that was one trip for one day. I was in the kitchen this morning. You had your chef making the beignets <laughs> because you brought home the beignet mix. Yeah, and he doesn't make them You know good. what you are? You're like a closet eater. You need an ankle bracelet. No, I don't. It goes off Because I eat so much eat healthier than bad. I did before. I am going to go to Paris. Why do you need to go to Paris? Because I it... want to go to Paris to have a fitting to get some good pregnancy clothes. Can't somebody come here? I can't have every designer fly to LA, no. This is going to put you over the edge. Kim has been traveling a lot, and I don't think she understands that, you know, she's got to take care of herself. You're trying to do everything that would make the normal non-pregnant person exhausted. I was laying in bed like, should I wash my face? I'm so tired. I'm in my robe. I need to get up. I need to wash my face. And then 10 minutes later, I was like dozing, dozing. And then I heard pounding up the stairs. And I thought it was you and Stephanie drunk. I'm calling to them like, hello, hello, hello. And there's no answer. And then at that moment, when there wasn't an answer, my heart started to get really tense. Like, you know, your, your stomach just kind of like knots up and you're like, okay, what's going on? What's going on? I knew something wasn't quite right. My door was open like this. And then I saw two guys holding another guy down in police uniforms, but right outside of my bedroom. 
five feet away. So I slid off my bed and picked up my phone and I'm like, I don't know how to call 911 in a different country. And so I like called Pascal and then the guy came and grabbed the phone for me, threw me on the bed. And I was like, this is it. Then the concierge that I realized was the concierge because he was handcuffed with the key to my room. What I've heard from talking to him afterwards is they said, you know, where's the rapper's wife? Like, let us up to her room um, in French. So he ended up being our interpreter because um, I couldn't understand them. They couldn't understand me. Spur has results. Your antibodies are positive for lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. So I don't know, like, what that means. You have, in addition to swollen joints, Keeps. you have fevers, rashes, mouth spurs. So you don't know, like that's that's the scariest part is we just don't know. I'll know on Friday. This Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're gonna give you the results right then? Because I'm not waiting any longer for this. The doctor did explain that there could be false positives when it comes to blood testing. So he wants me to go in a couple of days to go get these ultrasound scans on my hands and my joints that will really determine what's going on with me. But you know, you really do get in your head and think about the worst possible things that can happen. So for the next few days, it's gonna be really hell living wondering what I have, what's going on, and how to fix this. Let's stay really positive until we get some results. Are they, when are they able to give you so the Friday results? So Friday I'll know everything. What's going on? Mm, how are you? Good. Sit down. Let's have a visit. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. How, how are you water. feeling? I woke up a few weeks ago and my hands were really stiff. It was really weird. They felt different. I went to go get my phone and I couldn't. Like my hands were kind of numb. The next day I woke up and I literally couldn't lift my toothbrush. And I couldn't like take my bra off. That's I extreme. Couldn't sit my pants That's up. extreme for you. It was something that was really wrong. At this point, I'm still waiting to get my test results back, and I am going in to see my rheumatologist again to discuss what I can do if I have lupus or if I have rheumatoid arthritis, and what I can do to keep it as calm as possible. For the next few days, it's going to be hell wondering what I have, what's going on, and how to fix this. I would be so sad if like the baby came and I couldn't hold my baby. I know. Because I can't even hold my phone. I can't even hold, I couldn't hold a bottle. Like I, I wouldn't be able That's to do anything. That's how I feel when I go to pick up your babies or yeah. all the rest of the babies, I think. Oh, yeah. When you're too young for this, so. Yeah. I took There's so this pictures. one thing I can, I can send to you. It's a little blue bottle and it's called DES or DMS or something. CBS is good too. CBD, C not CBS. CBD. CBD. I've had a few drops of those myself for my neck. Sometimes I like overdo it, and I'll put too much on, and then I get very sleepy or lazy. Or you do get sleepy. I just want to nap all day. This house is a paradise. Thank you. With the pool, it's outdated. I mean, it's not as bad as a garado, but some of it has to go. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. so right. I think there's somebody that could come in, demo all the coping, like all this big pieces, okay. and perfect it somehow. I like my pots of flowers because I'm a flower person. For sure. Can we just keep those at least? Not and there. And I, I agree that this thing is hideous. Well, yeah. Listen. Like it's just dated. You're right, but then I can't have to get a permit for this because I'm not moving it. I'm just... Yes, you will have to get a permit to redo a pool. No, I'm not, but I'm not moving it. it. You'll need a permit. If there's one thing I've learned with the Jed Smith Project, yes, 
You need a permit to demo anything, especially a pool. Well, why don't you just do it? Well, I don't really love getting involved with uh, family. Why not? You get involved in anything else I do. Yeah, but that's different. This type of stuff, it's too much. And like, yeah. I don't want to ruin- Don't be that person. The sisterhood of the traveling pants. Exactly. And this construction stuff, it always seems amazing when you start. And it's just crazy how many problems you run into with the Jed Smith house. I want to get out now, sell. Yeah. And move to my next project because it's been that? the yes. craziest year. Also right. tough because I involve some of my closest friends in I my know. business. Benny Jun. Benny Juju. So yeah, he's put a lot of sweat and tears in it. Yeah, I know. The it's pressure. Just... Of, I know. I could only imagine how frustrating it is, but you love it. It's your passion. Very frustrating. You're almost that. done. You've put so much money and just energy into it. Just finish it and make the best profit that you can off of it. That's right. the whole point. Hamptons! You're an artiste. Yeah, you want to see what I drew? I drew Penelope's hair. That's not bad. I am a designer. That's true. God, what are we going to do when we're all out of arts and crafts? I just can't wait to go to Africa and just get out of here. I'm with Montana. So you guys are that close, like you'll sit 15, 20 hours on a plane together? Yeah. You guys are in deep. Yeah. You move quick when you move. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's two minute morning. What is we bothering her in here? Though? Yeah, like why can't she just go upstairs? We don't do anything don't to know. her. I just think she's like insensitive. You didn't want to be here. It's so hard for you. I don't think she thinks about that. I get she has a lot going on. Yeah. She's pregnant with the kids and she wants this to be like a kid experience. But I'm like trying to figure out my life, trying to clear out all this other that I've been dealing with in my past. And she just expects me to just be on her page and like want to like simmer down and chill here. I don't know. Some people don't get it. You know what I mean? Have you ever had anxiety like that? I did not even want to leave my house. I was That's even worse. so anxiety, afraid of like but... just people would yeah. yell things at me. It was horrible. I, I hated see. it. I think my anxiety, though, especially coming to New York and then my parents not being around anymore and then, you know, her being pregnant and everything just feels like it's coming down on me. I literally want to, like, jump out of my skin. It's that bad. Whenever I have anxiety, like, I like to go out or distract myself. If you want to come to the city with me and hang out with French and I, it's Yeah, like obviously I go to the city every night if I could. Well, what is that? It's just an anxiety pill for my anxiety, but I take it at night just to sleep. How much are you sleeping now? Like three or four hours a night. I know Scott has always had sleeping problems and always took sleeping pills. I understand that he's trying to cope, and I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do, but I don't want to be too judgmental because I don't want him to not come to me and do something in secrecy. But it is concerning me, and I am getting a little worried. Your smile is an act of love. I'm here for the kindness wall. Yay, well, we're, we're working on quotes. OK, tell me. I just don't know what like the meaning is. The whole concept is to teach children and adults to I share words of kindness. I could use this. If they hear and see kind things, they'll, they'll repeat kind things. And I felt like this was something that was such a great way to teach children and adults just about ways to consciously be kind. It's such so, a good yeah, idea. This is one in. of mine. It's not how much nice. we give, but how much we love. Oh, that's so sweet. You I want to write one? I'm not so good at this. Well, uh, just think of something kind. You can make it up, or we can help give you some ideas. Uh, I love my beautiful wife to pieces. I can't spell all that. That's way too much. So should we put these? Uh, yeah, let's hang them. On the wall. Hi. Read them, they're all really sweet. Like, kindness is a language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Aww. Trust, greatness lies in being kind. The trust, wisdom, and a happy mind. I love it. We need to figure out what we want to do. You do understand the program that I was in, they said it was six days. Mm -hmm. I did the five. The last day was a 24 hour surveillance day. I went through my withdrawals for the first three days, and they were there. Mm -hmm. And then you thought, like, I ditched out early. Like, I trucked through a very difficult time for me. Well, I was hoping that we could talk tonight after dinner alone 
We can out to all the these people around. But the problem is, it's like, we've been doing these talks for so many years. What else are you, like, going to say that we haven't said 5,000 times before? I don't know. It's just, it's, it's stressful, like, how much we've fought, like, over all these years when I look back. And it's like, I mean, maybe it's all worth it, maybe it's not. I'm at the point where I'm just so tired of everything that, like, I don't want to lose you and my kids, but, like, are we going to spend the rest of our life doing this? It's not only up to me. No, I mean, I'm just trying to take I mean, it a day at a time. are you planning to spend the rest of your life doing this? I don't know. I don't want to live the way I was living. Right. The truth is, I mean, I don't think that I've ever given myself time to really grieve over both my parents dying because I just self-medicated by taking pills and drinking. It became like a 24-hour job to, like, stay trying to get drunk and stay trying to take pills and not think about life and... I just think this is going to be like a long road of figuring everything out. That's why I feel like having space so that we can each think clearly and just... How much more space do you need? We haven't slept together in five years. What's the difference? Honestly, though, I mean, I love you, yeah, but like... I we just really want to change, so I don't want to just fall back into the same routine. What routine? the one we've been in for years. Trust me, would I love to just say, yes, perfect, come back. Like, I want to make a change to make it better. You know, figure out who you even are. I know what, like, you've been here for me before Colin was in jail and stuff, um, and I just needed to tell somebody because it's been bothering me, but I, I think he's taking pills again. Like, he told me I took half a morphine, and then I'll be like, okay, so you took the morphine, and then he'll be like, no, I was just saying that so you can shut up. I, I don't really know what to do at this point, so like... Man, you are in a really situation. Um, I feel super horrible for what Stephanie is going through. Out of all the dolls, I definitely have the most experience with drug use and drug addiction because of close friends that have been on drugs. So I think that I'm the person to help her. I have a friend, his name's Garrett. He runs a bunch of like rehab and sober living and outpatient, inpatient stuff. He's really cool, he has tattoos, he's a DJ. And I think that he can really connect with Colin. Do you want to like maybe like I mean, maybe. introduce them? Yeah. I yes. think that we should introduce them. I think so. So we'll just plan something, like to go to your house or something. Yeah, but we like have to keep it like we're just hanging yeah. out. Thanks. Oh, oh my God. God! You're so skinny. You're so tiny. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna break you. You look so cute in that little sweater. I know. Yeah. Yeah. You look like your idol I got a date. Thing. She's a plane mate. Oh. oh. It's like you're going on the golf course. Yeah. Change your shirt. Your jeans and shoes are perf. Oh, wait, Roberto. This is from the 80s. This is not cool anymore. I'm waxing your chest. You only can do a little piece, though. Not the whole thing. If it hurts too bad, I'm not doing it. I want to show you how it's going to feel. I get my vagina waxed. It doesn't hurt. Move. Oh, my gosh. This One, is... two, three. Oh! oh my God. I didn't oh. What are you doing with this junkular floor? I need you up on the counter, please. Oh, oh yeah, you wax your own, right, Court? Yeah. There's not five. Okay. Wait, 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 Simon. wait. Where are you going? There's no there's 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 Hurry, take it off. No way, no take way. Take it off. No, 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 no,
are you doing to this poor guy? I don't want this. One, I don't want two, this. three. What the f me, Kevin Clarkson? <laughs> no more, no more, no more, no more. Okay. <laughs> what are we wearing? So what you time guys are dress? coming with Robert. me. Robert! We are the people that approve or deny. Are you joking? So I'm gonna go brush my teeth and go, and you guys aren't coming. There's no way that I'm gonna let my sisters go on this date with me. Just make sure you wrap it up, Angel. Ow. Stop it! Yeah, are you sure we should do this? Yeah, what do you mean? Are you joking? I just kind of feel bad. Like, it's a date. Anything. It's not like we're walking in on him having sex. All right, let's just go. Vamos. Vamos. Yeah. Hi. You must be Karen. Yes. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Blind date. Yes. So what do you do besides being the playmate of the year? Well, I model. I do modeling and hosting. Oh, no, but see. ultimately, I want to produce. Yeah. I want to start a production company eventually, but for like movies and music. Kara is really hot. She's very nice. I think we're really connecting. I'm 22. <laughs> Don't lie to me. No, I'm serious. She looks cute. She looks like Rob's type. All I see is like platinum blonde hair. She looks really like platinum tiny. Blonde. Yeah, she looks really petite. Yeah. I so want to call Rob and just. Oh my god, let's like call him. Hair. How funny would call that him be? Now. Call him now. Hey Kim. Hey Rob. How's your date going? Going well. I'm uh, with my date, eating right now. Is she gorgeous? I mean, yeah. All right. Anyway, I, I'm being rude. I gotta go. See, they're always, always bugging me. But they mean well. No, they mean well. Yeah. They're just looking out for Big Rob. <gasps> oh! We were looking so hard. Who knows? Like, this is so <laughs> hard. Oh, my God. Are you OK? <laughs> Are you OK? Now, don't you hook yourself. <laughs> Way to go, Courtney. Oh, thanks. I worked hard on that. Uh, that was very good. Embarrassing. I bet it was like <laughs> You should <laughs> not be talking. All you and Scott do is make out all day long. Oh, please. Well, wait. Well, wait. Oh, I'm jealous because I'm not humping yes. Scott. Courtney and Scott, but stop making have... out. Come to me, my jungle friend. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna barf. We want to know if we had your blessing on waiting about the premarital sex. I'm not pregnant. Let's go home and keep practicing not getting pregnant. You're not a slur. Stop. Let's go make pretend you are for the night. Come on. Yeah. What happened to you last night? We had a little night in the jacuzzi. Ew. Now none of us can go in that jacuzzi for the rest no, of the trip. I'll be making it fine. and breaking it. You heard? I love you so much. Who the hell? Oh, you touching me real nice. Better to take your way to the bedroom and talk like that. Claude, gotta run like that. Oh, my God! You're gonna get it now. I have no one to talk to anymore. You guys need to get a room. You do. Yeah. OK, Seriously. get a room. Let's talk about you getting costumes, oh, you are the queen of dressing up. I love it. It's a dress up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's like Halloween every day in here. It is. We're shopping for Kim's boyfriend is injured, so she wants a nurse's outfit. <gasps> oh, that'll make him feel better. <laughs> Chloe Reggie is gonna die. I'm gonna take such good care of him. Who needs some help? Doctor. Reggie. Doctor. You need stripper shoes when you look like a stripper. Really? Yes. Yeah. You look so cute. Oh! <laughs> I went to school with nuns. I'll whip you with someone. <laughs> Trouble. That is amazing. <laughs> That's really hot, Kim. There's where you want to be, like that, like that. Hold it. <laughs> so this one comes in black and red. I That's love that. Gorgeous. Hat. And then the last print is just for you guys, the unicorn with Kardashian hair. Oh, that's so cute. That is cute. I love that. I feel like Kylie would like that. Kylie, my little sister, I think she's like really cool. So 
she would wear a shirt that's shorter in the front to show a little bit of her belly button. Look at what's happening in the juniors market at the moment. Everything is cropped. I mean, do you guys like it? Love keeps me alive. I don't know. Wait, I'm not trying to be annoying again, but I swear if you guys look on Kylie's blog, she writes all these <laughs> quotes. No, 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 I swear. But you, but you don't, she, she has the cutest things that she just like posts. I, you have to look at her Tumblr. Okay, cool. It's just like so her soul, and it's what I want our line to be. Wow. Well, you know? I'm in love with it. I think more now that Kim is pregnant, Kim feels like she's losing some of her cool. And she like literally Tumblr stalks Kylie. This is like how she dresses, like this is her mood. I just wanna be like that cool again, you know? Kimmy, I love you, but you've got to give it a rest. Oh, what would I... Kylie do? WWKD. <laughs> Kylie would wear it shorter. Keeping up con los Kardashians. Get a wet paper towel, please. Kendall is such a dog lover, and not so lucky for me, she's constantly traveling for work. And I'm stuck here picking up the Here, to go clean up the dog poop. You, go, you can help me clean up the dog poop. Oh, I do it every no. day, Kim. Oh, no. This is just a bunch of crap that I put up with. Keeping up con los Kardashians. it is like even possible for a dog to even like this mom hey what's going on nothing do you smell this yeah it smells like dog yeah but it really reeks in here no it's like this shirt what's going on will you uh, put this in the dryer for me you're getting really lazy honey i mean you can put it in your own self stupid talk. Oh my god. It like and you don't even open the doors. You are not a good person. Where's Kendall? I have no idea. She's gone. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna vomit. This dog is the size of a horse and so is it. It's like 101 Dalmatians pooped and peed in my laundry room times two. I really think that my kids think that this is my job to take care of it all, and I'm over it. It's not fair. Oh. I can't look at this. Cam, please help me. Oh my God. Oh. oh. I can't with that smell. Oh. Cam, you're a piece of Get out of here and Mom. help me. It's not my mess. I didn't all over the floor. Con los Kardashians. Mom? Yeah? Why'd you leave the thing out in front of my room? Kendall, do you realize what's going on in this house? Kendall. Yeah, but you pick it up before I even get the chance. You complain and you yell at me, but I've never gotten a chance. The is downstairs. This time I left it for you, so go clean it up, okay? It's all yours, Happily. Kendall. Congratulations. You get to pick up the today. Oh, my God. Smells so crazy in here. Oh, sh. Ooh. 
you guys okay. it's so big like she's gotta like lose a couple lbs what this is huge you guys are famous for big butts but her you guys lose your butts like we may all control. lose their money i don't care i want a flat ass now what have you guys noticed how irritable mom is lately yeah but she always is i live with her so no but she's like on edge i think she needs a little action Action. Don't look at me. I, I take one for like the team all the time. I feel like she thought she was going to get some action in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> My mom and Bruce have been separated for a little while now, and she has been super irritable, and I think a fun, casual summer romance may be the perfect thing to get my mom's mood back. Who could we hook her up with? Who's divorced rich that lives alone that wants Six kids and no, but the kids are grown. I'm trying to think like if I have any she, like, friends that are older. She like thinks that like literally like Diddy and people like that will like her. She She's like thinks Diddy's... that like. Oh my gosh! I know the perfect person. He's coming to cook us up some sex on a platter. We had an amazing chef when we first got to the Hamptons. Those look oh so God, good. Oh. oh, Mason! Rice Krispie treat. Mm. He was talented, cute, and young, and I think my mom might really like him. I mean, why couldn't it be a 30-year-old if it's just for a fling? I will admit, <laughs> food and a good chef will definitely turn her on. Or looks and money. Should we put her on Craigslist? Can you? I bet you I could get a lot of money for your mom, though. I mean, people would pay. Like Hamptons Craigslist, it's probably the classiest part of Craigslist. Stop. Do you mind if I make something in your kitchen? I'm making like this all natural deodorant. Oh my God, no, go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah, are you gonna make me some? Three tablespoons baking soda. Where did you even come up with this idea? Internet. Isn't she a weirdo? Like, she's so weird. Baking powder, cornstarch, okay. So now I combine this. And that's it. Wait, so it's cream. Do you want to smell it? No. Do you want to smell me? No. <laughs> <laughs> smell this one. No, seriously. It, it smells good. I don't smell anything, smell but I it. don't want to be in there. It smells you guys good. gonna fight again? I just know yeah. I just smelled it. It smells great. Okay. I think Scott will be much happier. He's gonna think I'm a whole new woman. Love you. Her for telling me if I'm gonna have a good show or not. Yours are just telling me that they're filled with milk. This one especially, do you feel it? I felt a little leakage. You didn't feel leakage, but I have but some it's very cream hard. for my coffee. Love you. Bye, Bye. you guys.